Hello, welcome to tutorial 2 for using Motion Blur. We have this Dirt Road HDRI map lighting this shot in 3ds Max with Corona. The wheels are turning on the car and we need to add Motion Blur uh, to this uh, HDRI map to make it look more convincing. So to get started, let's duplicate the map. So we have the original for reference and we will then right click and merge it to a composite so that we can add the motion blur uh, to the HDRI map. And I'll change the blend mode to over so that it basically replaces everything beneath, which is the original. Okay, so with this light selected, let's come to the master settings, go down to the bottom to the filter and choose motion blur. Now instantly we get the default motion blur, which is in the wrong direction, but you will notice that the sun has been motion blurred. Now this is where we start to see um, an issue really with applying the same motion blur to the entire image because the sun is so far away, there would be no motion blur. Really all that would motion blur in this shot is the road itself and uh, some of the stuff to the side, but as you go off, to the horizon and these mountains and some trees in the distance and the sun, they would not be motion blurred. So we're going to use alpha multiply to create a layer with a non-blurred version and blend that in with the motion blurred version to get a better result. Um, when we use alpha multiply, we'll use a gradient to do that because the image will lend itself to that with a nice straight horizon. Um, we could also use uh, an image mask, but we're not going to do that in this tutorial. We'll just use a gradient. So, first of all, let's set the direction for this motion blur. So I'm going to take down the blur length to zero so I can see what I'm doing. And then because uh, we've got the motion blur uh, filter added, if I come to this drop down, I can choose motion blur in order to pick the direction for the motion blur to travel by clicking on the canvas. So I'll click on the canvas there and then if we increase that uh, blur length we will start to see in the shot above a nice bit of motion blur happening that makes this more convincing. So that looks good. So I'm, I'm happy with that. So now let's duplicate this composite. So we now have one on top. And we'll turn off these two lights so we just have this composite and we'll take the motion blur off it so we've just got the lights basically the non-blurred hdri map and we'll come to the alpha multiply we'll activate this and then we'll add some points to the ramp so that we make the bottom half transparent okay and i changed the channels for here the channel view from rgba to HSVA and then you can actually see the transparent areas. So if I kind of zoom in to say this area, we'd like the fence posts to be blurred uh, because they're quite close to the car. So if I just keep moving up until that fence post there, if we drag that down, and I'll just fit that in. Drag it down a little bit more. So for the purposes of this demo, I think that's fine. We've basically got this top part that isn't blurred. Okay, so if we turn on the light that's below it, that is the blurred version, you can then see we've got a nice blurred road. We've got nice blurred uh, sides to that road. So the car looks like it's going past the fence posts and the field quite quickly. But then off into the distance, the mountains are not blurred uh, and neither is the sun. So at this point, we can render um, a higher resolution version to just see what that looks like. So we'll just render that. OK, so the shot's updated to the higher resolution version and I'm pretty happy with that. We've got nice uh, details in the background for the mountains and the trees. And then we've got this motion blur in the foreground. Another little trick that I'd like to do now is just take advantage of the fact that we've got a nice clean sun and that we could maybe move the sun a little bit to create a more pleasing shadow. So this has got nothing to do with motion blur, 
but whilst we've got uh, a light with some alpha uh, set already, I can basically duplicate this top layer. I can then hide the other lights and drag the points on the ramp a bit higher so that we're just isolating this top part of the sky. And then if we turn the other layers back on again, I can change the longitude of this top light now to tweak the horizontal position of that sun, which will allow me to just tweak what the shadows are looking like going across the car there. So I prefer the look of this to the look of this really long shadow going along there. And because we've only moved it a little bit, you kind of get away with it. The finishing touch, I'm going to desaturate the HDRI map because it's fighting a bit with the color of the car. So I'll just create a flat background light. I'll change its blend mode to saturation and invert which will desaturate the whole canvas and then I'll turn it down to about 25. Great, so let's just do another render just to see the final result uh, with a higher resolution version of this HDRI map. Fantastic, I'm really pleased with that. We managed to motion blur just the lower half of the HDRI map, leaving everything at the horizon and above not motion blurred. Thanks for watching tutorial two for motion blur.